Hi guys, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I've technically already unboxed it, like I just didn't want to share my address or anything, so yeah. This is this box that it came in, that's not the exciting part. The exciting part, as the title suggests, is the wig. Now, my hair is down at the moment, but I'm going to film this video in parts, so I'm just going to give you my initial thoughts on this. So this is the package that Wig is Fashion Wigs come in, and it's it says hair and beauty on the front of it, that's not that exciting, but what is cool before I get onto the wig is that they also sent me like eyelashes, so they sent me these, and look how pretty the box is, it does this, and then there are these like, they are so soft, like I'm like, are those like real eyelashes, you know how eyelashes can potentially feel plasticky, these ones don't. Um, I digress, but that's good because then I can probably use them with the wig when I cosplay or use them for myself. Wig time, woohoo! Now, I do have a wig as fashion Harley Quinn wig. Um, I'll insert a picture here of me with. But yeah, um. It, it was good, but I feel like I made the mistake of cutting the lace front too short. And I also need to show you this. I cut off my baby hairs by accident. Don't do that. Just don't. Um, here it is in its little bag. Now, another thing, the previous wig that I got before came extremely long and I wasn't that happy with it. I knew it was going to come long. But I thought, oh no, it'll be pretty. But then, like me wanting to be accurate, went no. I'm actually not happy, so I cut it, and it looked a lot better. So this one is for her nightclub look, I guess. So I want it to be short and curly, and so far it looks like it's gonna look like that. So it comes in this net. Wow, that is actually really nice. It's springy, and this is stuck to me. That's not like a hair net or anything. That's the annoying part. They don't come with like wig. Holders, hair nets, hair nets, that's a thing. Okay, here we have our beautiful wig. It is actually so beautiful. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Um, this was about 75 USD, so you would hope it would be nice because I also pay a lot of postage because I live in Australia. But um, I'll show you a close up if my camera will allow me to. So the way that these wigs are styled is that it actually looks like it's growing out of your face, which is the idea of a lace front, especially the side, look at those sideburns. Now I am intending on sticking this down with some bra tape so that it just sort of goes across. I'll film that soon when I'm done doing my stuff that I need to do for the day and I'll also put on some makeup because I'm beyond excited. So here's the front parting, looks like a scalp. But yeah, it smells good. It smells like plastic, like Barbie hair. But it, it doesn't look fake. It looks quite um realistic. My favourite bit is when it goes pink and blue. But yeah, because I wasn't too sure if I'd be able to restyle my other wig. Oh, here's something to pick on. There's something to pick on. There is something to pick on. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't think it will show. Yeah, and that's what the inside looks like. I want to put it on over my hair. This is going to look great. I'm just too excited, I've got to try it on. Okay, well obviously that's, oh that's a good length though, okay, let me tell you. This is a good length. Okay, um, I need to go do stuff, and then I will try this on properly. Okay, okay, okay. So excuse me and holding the camera and stuff, but at this time of night there is no actual lighting in my bedroom, so who would have thought? Anyway, so I took the wig, as you saw it had all that stuff and then I cut it so that it was one centimeter I didn't put on a wig cap just so you could see but so it's got one centimeter of allowance then I just plonked it on my head and so far it's good I mean I decided that I wouldn't put on a wig cap just to test how good it goes I mean obviously you should because at the moment there's baby hair sticking out here but here's um, a bunch of different angles. I'm gonna try like just be totally honest in how it is. I've done the makeup. I've got on my dress. It's not done yet, by the way. I'll show you the dress. Let's let's do this. Okay. So here's the back. Oh no, that's Matt Smith. Let's move over here. Here's the back of my dress. It's not done. Yeah. Okay. Back to the wig. Um, 
lighting. That's the front of it. What I like about it is the little bits. I mean, I think that maybe you should stick it down with bra tape. That will work, definitely. Under no circumstances, use spirit gum. I got it for my last wig. It screwed the wig up forever. The, um, I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture here. Of what's done to it because it is irreversible but I'll have to deal with it when I do that cosplay because I'm not made of money but anyway it, it's quite good apart from baby hairs it's fantastic at the back I'll show you a picture video thing of the back of the wig okay here we go really bad videos of the back of the wig but I definitely, definitely recommend. As I said, it, it doesn't, um, that bit that I found before, it's not showing and it's soft. So a review of this wig, 10 out of 10, would buy it. No, I, I, why would I need to buy it? I've got it already. I mean, I would get people to buy it if they are looking for a good wig for Harley Quinn. However, it probably won't part straight down the middle, so if you are wanting to do low pigtails, maybe no higher than this, that's fine. It just won't do her nice high pigtails for Suicide Squad. So I'm gonna have to stick with my wig that I got already because it doesn't have the parting on it, but it is perfect for this outfit. And I will upload a video very soon of the completed version. I've been filming how to make this dress. So stay tuned if you want to know how to make this dress when it's done. I mean, it's not done yet, so you don't want to know how to make our finished version. Anyway, see ya!